It was a mile walk through the busy Hanoi Old Quarter to get here, and on the way we passed by a beautiful lake. It was gorgeous, but now it is time to try Vietnamese McDonald's, and we are going to see what kind of local dishes they have here that you can only get at the McDonald's in Vietnam. Looks like they have a walk-up window. My first impressions are that it is very, very clean. I thought it might be a little bit overwhelming, but no, it's great. I went back downstairs to place our order because we have the international McDonald's app. We got a little discount on some of the burgers we got. We are so excited to eat this food. We got table service coming to us probably in the next five or ten minutes. Jacob ordered and he got so much food all for $18. Yeah, 18, yeah like 17 or 18 dollars. It's 415,000 Vietnamese dong. Yes, this is a lot of food for two people to eat and we definitely won't be finishing it all but when in Vietnam you gotta try it all. So what should I try first? Maybe the mixed spicy? I've heard this is delicious. I'm so excited. I've heard that this might actually be super spicy. We don't have the mixed spicy in the United States and we've never had it anywhere, so it's a thick piece of chicken. There's we've lots of mayonnaise, lettuce, tomatoes. We've never even seen that on a menu anywhere that we've gone. Ooh, it actually really does have a kick. My tongue is burning right now, but the chicken is so juicy and tender. Oh, this is really good. It does have the spice, it's not too bad. It's already kind of going away, but there's lots of fresh veggies in there too. The mayonnaise is delicious. That's a winner. Before moving on to the next item, of course I have to try it. It looks really good. I love spicy chicken sandwiches. I mean, that's amazing. I love the tomatoes and the lettuce that they put on there. Oh yeah, there's a spice. That's amazing. I love this sandwich. Yeah, it's so good. That's like a top five McDonald's thing ever. We also got a Vietnamese iced white coffee. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's not too sweet. I was expecting it to be sweeter. The coffee has a really good taste. It's not too strong, but it's really good. Yeah, it's actually, the coffee I would say is pretty good quality. Vietnamese coffee is so, so famous. There's coffee shops everywhere here. So if they don't have good coffee, they would be missing out on something. We got three drinks, a large Coke, a matcha, and this. And this one was by far the cheapest one. I don't like coffee, but I can tell that people who like coffee would enjoy this. And now our most expensive drink, the matcha frap. I'm gonna be honest, my knowledge in matcha is a little bit lacking. That's really sugary. I had no idea what I was supposed to expect when I took a drink, but very sugary. It kind of tastes a little bit like green tea. I mean, I actually really like it. Jenny said I might not, but that's, that's decent. I've only tried matcha once before and I didn't love it, but if it's sugary, I'll probably like it. I don't know what matcha is supposed to taste like. I've only gotten it once before and it wasn't sweet at all. But this is good because it just kind of tastes like an iced green tea frappe with lots of sugar and whipped cream. So we have a sausage burger and a chicken burger. I'm not sure which one this is, but let's see. I think that is the sausage burger. I feel like this is going to taste like a sausage McMuffin, but with just a bun. It's kind of weird eating the sausage with just like a normal bun, but it's definitely not bad, but I'm not sure. I think I would prefer the McMuffin. I would eat it though. I really don't think there's anything on this. I mean, this bun is just empty. Then there's the sausage and the cheese. There's nothing else there. We'll see. It's the same exact patty that they would use for these sausage McMuffins. Uh, I'm a huge fan of those. Yeah, the bun just gives it a different flavor. I guess they want it to feel more like lunch instead of breakfast. I mean, yeah, like I like the sausage patties from McDonald's, so I would enjoy this for sure. And it's really cheap too. It's like our cheapest or our second cheapest item on here. We got a ton of the famous McDonald's french fries, and so after we try an item, we just have to sneak some in there. And now we're moving on to the chicken burger. It might be pretty much identical to the sausage burger where there's like no toppings at all. It's just like the patty and the cheese. There is the patty in there and there's some lettuce and it's probably mayonnaise in there. I don't really like it that much. I like it's okay, but what did we try? The mixed spicy deluxe is far superior. This does cost less, so 
you would expect that, but I just really like don't enjoy it. I would rather have a spicy patty. Since Jacob said he didn't really like this, I'm gonna try to dip it in this chili sauce here. It's actually garlic chili sauce, so let's see. I definitely like it, but yeah, the spicy McChicken is way better. The chicken in there tastes better and just feels fresher. This is, I mean, it's probably cheap, so like I could eat it on the go and be fine, but yeah, it's not the best. So this is a shake shake salad, which makes sense. Pour the dressing in and then shake it up. Let's give it a try. What kind of dressing do we have there? We got Thousand Island, but there's a shrimp on it. So I'm not sure it'll taste like the Thousand Island we're used to. Pour it in there. Let's give it a good shaking. <laughs> this is so funny. I don't know if this is working. <laughs> we didn't know how it was supposed to work. It's called a shake shake salad. So we assumed we would do it like this. I feel like the dressing's just kind of rubbing on the side here. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, it actually kind of worked. Oh, it actually looks good. Really need a salad in my life. All right. Especially after today. The dressing is very, very sweet. I mean, it's a good salad. It's not like the best salad ever. The dressing is a little bit sweet for my liking, but I like that there's like corn, bacon, tomatoes, onions in here. It's more than just lettuce, which is nice. And you could eat it on the go, because it's in a cup. The bacon is actually really good, and I don't normally like bacon. I mean, I would choose probably different salad dressing, but overall, it's pretty good. I love these big chunks of tomatoes in there. Good snack. It's time for the famous one. Oh, the spicy fried chicken with rice, the spicy garlic fried chicken with rice. And there's also some cucumbers in there. The rice kind of sticks together a little bit. I don't think it's like sticky rice or anything, but we have some of uh, the spicy sauce on there too. Yeah, you can absolutely taste the garlic in here. There were like a couple other options. I think you could have got this without the garlic chili sauce and just got it with like the regular chili sauce. But I really like that. I'm happy with our choice there. And now we have this gigantic piece of fried chicken. That's some pretty decent fried chicken. Uh, you can, yeah, it's like kind of spicy, but not too spicy. The skin has enough juice to it. And I mean, the chicken is like real chicken. I feel like the fried chicken is like the biggest deal here in Asia because every single McDonald's we've been to in Thailand, Singapore, and now Vietnam, fried chicken is on the menu. I think that they prefer the fried chicken over like burgers, like how we do. So I'm really excited to try this. If you are from Vietnam, let us know if you prefer the fried chicken over like a McDonald's burger. Mmm, I need a napkin. I'm not the biggest fan of fried chicken in general, but that is very juicy and crispy. I think that the sauce definitely adds a lot of value. Now let's try the rice. I'm gonna get a little piece of chicken with it. That rice is really good. I really, really like the sauce on it. The sauce is what's making it good. Never thought that I'd be eating rice at McDonald's, but I'm liking it. Are you loving it? <laughs> Even though we definitely like this, the chicken and the rice, it's still not exactly what we're used to. And so of course we had to order something that has a beef patty. It is the McRoyal with cheese. I just have a feeling this is gonna be good. McDonald's burgers are usually pretty solid. And after that, we still have the macaroons to try. We don't have a McRoyal in the United States. I've actually never seen it on any McDonald's menu, but it looks very similar to the Quarter Pounder. Let's give it a try. I feel like the patty is almost thicker than the Quarter Pounder. It has a slightly different taste. Maybe it's just because I haven't gotten to the mustard and ketchup yet though. Mm. There it is. I'm pretty sure it's just a Quarter Pounder with a different name, but it's delicious. So they can change the name all they want. It's still really good. I did some research. The patty is 113 grams. And so that would be about four ounces which would make it a quarter pounder with cheese. So just a completely different name. Not exactly sure why it's named differently, but I like McRoyal. Sounds great. We have let this sit for a little bit at our table, so it is really cold, but still delicious. Beef patty, that's what I'm used to at McDonald's, and that's what I'm happy with. Now it is time for dessert. We got some coconut macarons. It looks like we got vanilla and chocolate on top. I like that they just gave it to us on a napkin. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the chocolate. I can't taste the chocolate too much, but it's definitely there. It is really good. I mean, coconut macarons are always delicious, so 
can't really go wrong. They're pretty soft, not really crispy on the outside at all. The chocolate's kind of weird to bite through, but I really like it. This is the supposedly vanilla macaroon. Oh, it's like, this is like icing is really tough. It's hard on there. It's like caked in. Decent macaroon. Nothing too special about it. It's a nice little dessert. Relatively affordable too. Two pieces, 25,000 Vietnamese dong. About one US dollar for both of them. All right, let's rate our favorites. Fries. Amazing. <laughs> let's see, this one, the matcha. I'm impressed, I really liked it. I didn't think I would. Yeah, Jenny's drink is the Coke right here. That's what she's drinking, and then I don't really have a drink, so I've just been drinking that, and it's amazing. Coffee, I would say, good. The salad. Decent. Meh. It's okay. I mean, it's just, it's small, it's okay. The Mick Spicy Deluxe. Favorite. I would say so that. Good. This, it has to be my favorite. If you, Even if you don't like spicy, you you need to try it. That it's is, so good. that was so, so good. Macaroons. Good. Eh, good. Eh, it was all right. This, oh, this, we didn't finish it yet, or maybe we won't. It's the chicken burger. Eh, yeah, I didn't really like it. The This was the sausage burger. It looks like we really liked it, but it was just really small. I would say it was fine, not great. I liked it. I love the McDonald's sausage patties. The garlic chicken with rice. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say it is decent. Not my favorite, but it was all right. Then the McRoyal. Great? Yeah, I would say it's great. It's, it's a beef burger. Uh, it's great. French fries are always amazing, so you can't go wrong there. Okay, I think I need to give the rice a better... It was good. I really like the chili garlic sauce on it. If you want to see more of us, we have a whole Vietnam playlist, and we also have an entire McDonald's playlist, so feel free to watch either of those. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.